Einstein's most famous quote, one of his most famous observations. He said, imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited. Imagination encircles the world. Imagination is everything. It's a preview to life's coming attractions. Everything you've ever imagined is real. The imagination is always manufacturing scenarios, both good and bad, and the ego tries to keep you trapped in the multiplex of the mind. Our eyes are not viewers, they are also projectors that are running a second story over the picture that we see in front of us all the time. Fantasy is not nothing. It is of course not a tangible object, but it is a fact nevertheless. I can't shake the dream, but I don't have the details for the dream. I don't quite know how to make the dream happen, and it's quite lonely on the journey to get to the dream. So the cost of the dream seems really high, but the dream won't go away. I'm shaking again about the dream. You need somebody that can rally people around an idea that's pushing themselves and other people to get better, that has just an unyielding sense of what the art form can become. And you place into your imagination fearlessly the I am's which you would like to create for yourself. The world in which we live is a world of imagination. In fact, life itself is an activity of imagining. Everything that's in your imagination, God gonna make it come true for you. You just got to believe that. God make dreams come true. He take poor kids, with speech impediments and put them all over TV. He take drug dealers and turn them into doctors. If God can do that for me, explain to me how he can't do it for you. Imagining creates reality. Well, I guess you could call it daydreaming. That's the way Disneyland was conceived. A dream that grew into a reality. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you're greater than your circumstances. No money, no human resources, no building, no funding, no support. We dream, we wrote the dream down, we slept the dream, we ate the dream, we rehearsed the dream, we looked at the dream, we talked about the dream, we slept with the dream, we woke up to the dream, we wore the dream, and now boom, it's our reality. And for some of you, you stop dreaming. You dream for a week and you stop because things around you don't look good. I dare you to use your imagination. You dream for a while, and when people tell you crazy, you stop dreaming and you go back to knowledge. And I dare you to use your imagination. I dare you when you broke to use your imagination. I dare you when you rich to use your imagination. I dare you under every single circumstance, keep dreaming, keep looking at your dream, keep focusing on your dream, keep going after the dream, because that's what true success is. And ask yourself, what's my dream? What's my dream? Logic will get you from A to B. But imagination will take you everywhere. Take control of the morning so you take control of your day. Own the morning so you can own your day. Start your day right so the rest of your day falls into place. Schedule that time. It's more important than anything. Sleep 30 minutes less if you need to. Give this to yourself. Are you happy with your life? Are you where you want to be? If you answered yes, turn the audio off. Now if you answered no and you want to grow, keep listening. Start every day with at least five minutes of powerful energy. Five minutes of positive energy first thing in the morning can change your entire day. And if you can change your entire day with consistent, positive thoughts, you can change your entire life. Can you do more? Can you be more? If you know you can be more, you need to commit to being more. And you need to start now. You need to commit now to start every day with the mindset of someone who loves life. 
the mindset of someone who is going to win the day no matter what happens. You won't lose. You will win or you will learn. You will win the day because you will set your day up to win. Your first job as soon as you rise is to give thanks. Give thanks you are alive. Give thanks for everything you do have. Give thanks for everything you usually take for granted. Set your intentions for the day. Set your goals for the day. Give thanks in advance for the things you want. Put that intention out into the world. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the amazing opportunities coming my way. Thank you for the character I show today. Thank you for every smile today. Thank you for every laugh, every moment of fun. Wake up with intention by setting those intentions the night before. Wake up with only positive intentions. The morning is not the time for phones. Not the time for work or problem solving. The morning is the time to get in sync with what you want. Create an unbreakable morning routine. A consistent routine that will soon bring consistent results. Ask yourself, how do I want this day to go? How do I want to feel today? How do I want to treat others? How you start your day is usually how you're going to live your day. If you started believing it's going to be a great day, chances are it will be. If you start your day with the intention you are going to be happy today, no matter what happens, chances are you will be happy no matter what happens. If you don't start your day off in the right mindset, at the first challenge or test, you will break. You will respond with negativity rather than positivity. And what are the chances of challenges showing up? Probably around 100%. So make sure you are ready for those challenges. Ready with an unbreakable spirit. Ready with a positive mindset. Ready to redirect any negativity. Get after the life you want. It is a must. Don't let it get away from you. Run after it. Plan your day. If you know where you're going, you will eventually get where you need to go. If you have no direction, you will end up in the wrong section. Successful people have intention and they have direction. They know where they're going. That is why they get there. I'm motivated by fear. Um, fear of what? A fear of fear. I hate being scared to do something. If there's something that's completely beyond your control, you've got to detach from it and not let yourself get stressed about it. You have to be willing to play between your brain and your soul. And on some days, you've got to just listen to your soul. We're not discouraged or devastated by what's going on because we've always come from the struggle. We are acquainted with sorrow. We are acquainted with grief, but we rise. Don't judge your circumstances and the possibilities for your future based upon what you have now and because of what's going on now. No, 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 no. What you're going through, if you're going through some hard times, it has not come to stay, it has come to pass. The only real power we have in the world is choosing our response. Your life is your life, and you have the right to live it the best way you can. I blame no one. I look in the mirror. On the other side of it, what an opportunity we have, because tomorrow's the first day of the rest of our lives. Together we rise. You want that degree? Keep running! You want that high school diploma? Keep running! You want to sell your mom out the projects? Keep running! You want a beautiful life? Keep running! The hour is now for game changers to emerge! Stop stressing about the things that you cannot control and stop focusing on the things that you have control of. Take control of your life. Take control of the opportunities. 
Believe in yourself. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to learn. Every single day, I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. Everything is possible in your life when you believe. You have a two hands. Some people are not willing enough to believe in themselves. But what are you going to do? How will you make a difference? How will you stand? And how would you fight? There are many battles that we all face in life. Certain circumstances will come into your life. These battles that we face each and every day of our lives that sometimes we just don't feel that we're prepared for. But we must find a way. We must find a way and an understanding that this thing that we are dealing with right now in our lives is only temporary. It's temporary and it will not last forever. You must realize that you must grow enough tenacity within yourself to press on. We are all going to face many battles in our lives. And some of these battles we will not always win. But we must have the winning attitude. Regardless if we fall down. Regardless if the struggle is so hard. Regardless if we get pushed back a few steps. We must continue to press on. We must disconnect ourselves. And stop being prisoners to the sadness, to the weakness, to the fear, to the doubt. We must become strong. We must become something unique. We must put on that suit of armor and prepare ourselves for battle. Every battle cannot be won, but the winning attitude to not give up is more than enough to carry on. When you are doing everything in your power to be the best makeup of yourself, it's always going to be an adversary that's going to try to take that away from you. We call it A rough patch, a speed bump, a dark place. There are so many words we can use to describe difficult times in life. Those times when circumstances or situations come in and knock us off our course. Now the best way you can overcome this is having the faith. Now it doesn't matter what you believe in as long as it's something that's positive that's going to get you through it. A lot of people don't have that ability to be strong. And I'm not talking about the physical aspect of strength. I'm literally talking about the mental and, of course, spiritual aspect of strength. 
It could be an injury, a passing of a loved one, a financial setback, or maybe a failed attempt at something new. Sometimes it feels like we'll be stuck in that rough patch forever. I've been there. Everybody gets knocked down. No matter how tough you think you are, you're gonna fall, and when you fall, sometimes you fall real hard. But that ground is a hard surface, and I'm gonna tell you something, it ain't gonna move because you're laying on it. So you need to rise up, and you need to rise above it, and you need to start moving. When you get knocked down, how long are you gonna stay down? When you lose your job, when you lose that loved one, regardless if it's your husband, your wife, your child, whatever it is, do you have the ability to go through the hurt and the pain of that loss? Regardless of what you're going through, the best time you know that you are strong is when you're at the weakest point of your life. When you are so far down that hole, you looking up and you don't see no light, but yet you know there's an end to this darkness. That's when you'll find out just how strong you really are. This is a process and you have to hurt just a little bit so you can understand what it means to be strong. So don't give up on your hopes. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on yourself. Just keep moving forward. If you think that you're going through something so bad right now, wait until tomorrow if tomorrow comes for you. Look at the person next to you. Look at people all over the world if you ever come in contact with certain individuals. And ask yourself, are uh, they going through a lot more than what I'm going through? Because honestly, there are always going to be people that are going through a lot more than you're going through right now. My name is Sarah Wells and I'm an Olympic athlete. I competed in the 400 meter hurdles at the London Olympics and yes, that was a highlight. But my dark patch came four years later. When the Olympics came back around and everyone expected me to qualify again, and I didn't. I felt like such a failure. I thought my friends wouldn't like me anymore. I thought the entire world was about to be flipped upside down. When you're down, find a way to get up. I've been there. I go through it like anybody else. But I have a job to do in this world, and so do you. You too may have had a goal in mind, an idea of what success looked like. And for whatever reason, that goal might have evaporated in front of your eyes. That's what I felt. Sometimes it can be easier to just live in that dark place because the strength required to climb back out is a lot. A lot of effort, a lot of time, and honestly, it feels completely out of reach. But you know what? It's not. It is possible to get back up again. Minute by minute, choice by choice, we can move farther away from the thing that set us back. We can dust ourselves off and rise back up. By crawling out of the darkness of difficulty, we learn a lot about our own strength. We're able to do what we thought was impossible. And we use what's inside of us to grow stronger, braver. We're wise from those experiences too. We now know what it takes to overcome. Every time life knocks us down, we can choose to get back up. We become a better version of ourselves. A version that knows pain. A version that knows struggle. But a version that has lived through and knows the beauty of coming out on the other side. It gets better. You get better. The struggle is worth it. So pick yourself back up and keep going. Life is difficult and messy, but through the struggle comes beautiful, powerful things. One of the best things you can ever do in your life is to change your words. 
I said one of the best things you can ever do in your life is change your words. There's a scripture in the Bible in Proverbs that says death and life are in the power of the tongue. In other words, your tongue, your words have the ability to shape your world. I said your words has the ability to shape your world. You can either speak death over your life or you can begin to speak life over who you are. And you've got to get to a place where you stop talking death and start talking life. You got to get to a place where you say, you know what, I got to stop talking about what I don't have and who's not here and what someone didn't give me. I got to stop talking death and I got to start talking life. Your world is a result of words you have spoken. When you look at your life, I promise you there is a connection between the life you live and the words you have spoken. And I challenge you right now, yeah, you got to get to a place where you start speaking what you want to see. You got to say what you want to see. You got to say, I want to be rich. I, I want to be wealthy. I want to build legacy. I want to be healthy. I want to have a good marriage. Matter of fact, just say I am. I, I am blessed. I am favored. I am healed. I am set free. I am victorious. I am an overcomer. I am overcoming these challenges. I am debt free. I am a powerful person. I am a spiritual person. I am a blessed man. I am a blessed woman. You got to speak not what you see, but what you want to see. When God in the Old Testament, whenever he wanted to change a person's destiny, he'd always change their name first. Why? Because your name gave you identity. Your name gave you purpose. And so if you look in the Bible, when God was getting ready to do something in someone's life in the Old Testament, oftentimes he changed their names because God has to change your name so he can change your confession. When God wants to take you to a new level, he has to give you a new name because that gives you new language. And he said, I don't want you calling yourself by your old name. Stop calling yourself who you used to be and start calling yourself who you're going to be. Yeah. Stop calling yourself stupid. Stop calling yourself dumb. Stop calling yourself sick. Stop calling yourself fearful. Stop calling yourself afraid. Stop. That's your old name. That's who you used to be, but you're not that anymore. Right now, you got to declare, I'm not calling myself by my old name. I'm calling myself by my new name. And my new name is blessed, yeah. My new name is rich, yeah. My new name is, is healthy. My, my new name is powerful. My new name is confident. God says if you want to see different, you got to say something different. Dreaming is good. Having goals is good, but sooner or later, there comes a time when you must act. One of the worst phrases we've ever created was, you got to see it to believe it. It's a phrase created by cynical people with small minds that have not got any hope that things can get better. Can you imagine what the world would be like if everyone believed that this was true? We'd have no cars, no planes, no light in the dark. We'd never have computers or mobile phones. We'd never climb mountains, break records, or go to the moon. I used to believe this rubbish. Nothing can be achieved, conceived, until first it's believed. You have to believe it to see it. If there's something that you want to do with your life, that thing deep inside you that whispers day and night, it will always, always just be an idea until you choose to believe it's possible. You have to believe it so much that you already think it's happened. You have to walk like it's there, talk like it's there, believe it's there. Dreams without action, that's the path to delusion. Without action, these dreams and goals will fill your life with a load of negative emotions. Things like anxiousness, nervousness, they will fester inside you and drain your energy. The reason most people don't take action is simple. It's fear. Fear of failure, fear of success. And the only way to overcome this 
and to stop making excuses why you shouldn't act is to make not taking action more painful than taking action. People sit around and they focus on all the bad that might happen to them if they try to act that they completely forget about what will happen if they don't. So think about it right now. Let's think of some things that might happen if you try to do the thing that you've been wanting to do for years. Okay, well, it might not work the first time. It might not be as easy as you thought. People are gonna think you're mad. They're gonna look at you and think you're insane. They're gonna tell you shit like, it ain't possible, it's risky, you shouldn't do it. Be careful, stick to what you know, stick to what you do. That. Follow your dreams. These people have to see shit to believe it, but you need to believe it to see it. Amazing things happen when you believe you have something. Your brain actively goes out to make it happen. It starts to notice little subtle opportunities that you would have otherwise deleted because it knows it's got a job to do to get you what you want. But if you keep taking action, in spite of all this stuff that might happen, guess what? Sooner or later, you're going to start winning. Remember, there ain't no such thing as failure, baby. Only feedback. So to make yourself take action, you gotta make a decision. And that decision has to be final. People take action and get shit done when they have had enough. They decide. And they say, that's it. I'm done. No more. You're either moving forward or standing still. The choice is yours. Decide. In this social media world that we live in today, it's so easy to lose your way. I look around at so many people today and can see that they just don't know who they are. It's easy to see the life that we live in today through some Snapchat filter. To look around at everybody else and say, that's what life looks like. That life looks perfect. I want to be just like that. So they go around and start acting like other people. Doing what other people do. Taking a selfie in front of an expensive car. Put a million filters on the picture and upload that to Instagram to tell the world, this is who I am. The problem is, behind closed doors, they know that that's not who they are. So they end up lost wandering around in a lie that they created. And the only thing to keep the lie going is more lies, more pictures, more filters, until one day they look around and realize that they have lost themselves along the way. They have no idea who they are. or could be because they've been trying for so long to be someone else. I think the greatest, most influential people in history deep down are the way they are because above everything else, they were themselves. No one else. They wasn't like someone else or even compared to anyone else. You have to follow your heart. You have to be you. You have to make your choices based on your principles and beliefs and don't let outside forces or influences dictate your decisions. I believe it's our decisions that make us who we are and more importantly, who we could be. So if you go through life always making your decisions based on someone else and what they might think, you'll never truly find yourself. It all comes down to how much you care about what other people think. It's a scary thing in the world we live in today to be yourself with so much fake perfection out there on social media. But I'll tell you this, it's also the best feeling in the world when you go through life knowing you ain't what other people's made you but yourself. It's liberating. There's freedom in it. So stop hiding. 
and be yourself. The places that you will go in your life, the places that you have been in your life, you have seen things that others do not understand. You have been through things that others will never be able to go through on their own. And this is what makes you special. This is what makes you unique. And this is what makes you stand out. But you are not out. You are not out of the fight. You must continue to press. Press on and fight with everything you have. These days and times have been so challenging. So many people have given up. So many people have given up so much of themselves. They have disconnected themselves from the reality that they are unique, that they are special, that they are blessed with this life. Life is beautiful and you must be able to hold on to it for as long as you can because it will not last forever. If you're holding on to stress, disconnect it. If you're holding on to fear, disconnect it. If you're holding on to sorrows, if you're holding on to weakness, disconnected that relationship that you are in right now may not be working out but that doesn't mean that you can't get out and resonate yourself get your mind and your body in the right place work on you don't try to fix others focus on your opportunities focus on who you are as an individual you can't save the world, but you can definitely make a difference. But make sure you make the difference within you. Because as long as you are leading the path, the right ones will walk with you. They will follow you. They will stand with you. They will break bread with you. So you must continue to believe you must continue to understand that on this day, on this hour, this is your day and your time is now. Hold on tight and don't let go. Focus on what is necessary and disconnect yourself from the things that are not necessary. If you're feeling like you're going down, Open up your heart and open up your mind and look up, carry on and believe in it for each and every day of your life is a blessing, a blessing to breathe, a blessing to walk, a blessing to do what is necessary to continue the life. And not holding on to things that's not going to get you to the level in life you want to be.